สวัสดีค่ะ I'm p i f e r n นะคะ a first year medical student from a t i b a d i Hospital I'm currently studying in a dual degree program called MDMM or Doctor of Medicine and Master of Management ค่ะ Yay So first of all, we need to talk about this because you have impressive English test scores. Do you have any tips for Nong Nong? Because your scores are really impressive. Um, to achieve high score in any subject, especially in English, um, you need commitment and um, the mindset that is open to learning about it. What's special for English is that it's a learn is a language, right? Mm -hmm. For learning any any language. Which is a long-term project. Mm. You need to find a way to make it enjoyable for yourself. Oh, sure. Maybe yes. by um, just doing whatever you normally do, but mm -hmm. try to switch it to English instead. Mm. Like as for me, I'm someone who addicted to TikTok, so Ooh. I'm trying to follow more of um, international content creator. Mm. That way, I can um, know more and get comfortable with more words and. English context without feeling that I have to force myself mm. to do so. Oh, I know that's probably the biggest struggle, right? You feel like oh, you have to study; it must be so hard. But then you identify what you like, and then you turn that into English. Amazing! How about the test preparation part? How did you prepare for the exams? Um, first of all, you need to know all the. Aspect of mm -hmm. uh, the the test, mm. and then you need to um, analyze what is your error, what is your f a m a t a n a t a l a y a k a w a what what is the part that you need to improve for me, mm -hmm. um, my grammar. Mm -hmm. So I try to work more on um, error part of the exam. I see. Okay, so maybe you need to do like the mock test first. Yeah, right? sure. To to get to know what. Okay, I don't do so well in this part. And then after that, you work on that specifically. I see. Is the process of learning or practicing English for examination different or the same as learning for real life conversation? Mm, to me, from my experience, there's a lot difference because um, studying for paper-based academic exam, you mostly study. It passively, like only reading mm. it or um, correcting grammatical error. Mm. But if you want to deliver good, like English uh, conversation, mm. you need to practice it interactively, mm -hmm. like um, finding a partner or someone you can talk to in English. Mm. If you want to find a partner but you don't have one, mm. you can um, use some platform like. Uh, mm -hmm. Omigo, do you know that? Oh yeah, E E D L E. I saw that on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> It's a platform where you can meet um, stranger from all over the world, and oh. yeah, yeah. Good thing is they mostly speak English, and right. they don't know you. So uh -huh. if you're someone who afraid to be judged when oh. doing the oral presentation in front of the class classroom, mm -hmm. Omigo might be your answer because you can talk to. Anyone in any topic. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then you don't have to feel pressure as well because they are strangers. <laughs> yeah. Right. You just if you don't. Oh, this is not going well. You can click and then change the person that you are talking yeah. to. Yeah. Now a lot of people might be thinking, oh, she must have studied in an international school. Is that right? No. No. Not even close. Uh, I graduated from a public school and I wasn't even in an English program. I was in a full Thai program. What? Yeah, but um, it's probably my mindset and mm. that I'm open to learning English. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that one of the best uh, way, the effective way to um, get yourself improved in English mm -hmm. is to um, get yourself immersed in the environment where people actually use the language. So mm -hmm. I went to two summer courses, um, New Zealand and United Kingdom, <laughs> when I was in. Grade eight and nine, mm. and another full year as an exchange student in the state. Mm. So you look for opportunities to go abroad yeah. while studying in a, a full Thai school. I see, I see. Now, apart from uh, academic excellence, you also made some content online as well on social media, right? Can you tell us more about that? 
Um, I have my own personal page on mm -hmm. Instagram um, named Met Student Vibe, where Met I provide Student Vibe. Okay. Yeah, where I provide contents about um, Met Student Life and some reminder for those Nong Nong who prepare for the exam. And, and, and also, I, I heard that you also made some videos on YouTube as well. Not only me, it's me and uh, most of my friends from IA57 or Nasasarama We okay. initiated a project called Radiator, which mm. is a learning platform mm. aimed to provide Nong Nong with all academic resources. Oh. Yeah, so that's not only tips, tricks, and personal experience on med school application, but also uh, include free tutorial videos on wow. BMAT and IELTS. It normally costs Nong Nong like 3,000 4,000 in the Tiu Khot. Wow. So we make the videos on all of those stuff for free. Wow. Uh, so if there are any of you guys uh, met, uh, interested in applying to med school, mm. go. What's the number one or top question that you get asked a lot from Nong Nong following mm. you? Non-traditional career path of mm. physicians mm. as um, I'm the one who in the MDMM program, as I said, mm -hmm. which is a dual degree program. So what, can you share a little bit of that? Like what, what are the, the possibilities or different career paths that they can go through? So normally, if you take normal course of medicine, it mm -hmm. takes you six years to finish the, the degree, right? right? But for MDMM, it takes a bit longer. So seven years for oh. two degrees. So that's oh. um, Doctor of Medicine and Master of Management. So at first, I know this is going to be tough and tiring, oh. studying <laughs> two degrees simultaneously. Mm -hmm. But um, graduating from this, program, you will be a doctor who um, have um, organizational management knowledge no. like on finance, marketing, um, wow. policy formulation. Wow. Yeah, so therefore in the future, if you're interested, you, have, you will have the potential to be okay, running the, the hospital. Yeah. Because learning about healthcare and medicine is one thing, right? But running hospital takes another whole set of skills. I see. So, and I also heard that you did a lot of activities, which are management activities, right? Uh, can you tell us more about that experience? Um, to me, I feel like seven years in university is too long to just study and graduate with only academic knowledge. Mm. Uh, I want to equip myself with all those soft skills, mm. communication skill, and as, as you said, that whole lot of skills necessary to continue my path as a mm -hmm. MDMM type of doctor. Mm. So I participate in all kind of um, activities I could, like mm -hmm. uh, being a president for Rama Locho, wow. uh, Rama MU Open House, or um, being a vice president of corporate communication for Rama Tibadi Medical Student Council mm -hmm. or Asian Medical Student Association. Wow, a lot of things. So you get to practice running, managing, coordinating with a lot of people, a lot of parties. Yeah. Right, that is amazing. 